the tide has shifted over here in the NFC East and with me and my Eagles Nation, it's official! It's finally official! I've been waiting all day for it. And Eagles have signed former running back of the Dallas Cowboys, uh, DeMarco Murray, five years 42 million, 21 million guaranteed. He can rush it back then and we got him right now. He gonna run through Philly like he's a snow plow. Well, Cam, looks like the snow plow is gonna be running through your team this season. So we've seen quite the chain of events go down these past few days. And it's been just kind of this nonstop roller coaster of emotions. Uh, there's been surprise, confusion, sadness, frustration, but you know what? Right now, I am feeling some excitement. And just a week ago, no one could have ever thought we would be here right now with our division rivals running back on our team. We lost our star running back, our top wide receiver, and I'm not gonna lie, it was scary. It was nerve wracking. I didn't know what to expect. Um, all we could do was trust in Chip. It was tough. It was a very tough pill to swallow when we got rid of Foles for Sam Bradford. But you know what? After each move is being made, things are starting to make more and more sense. It still doesn't make full sense, but I can see where something is happening and Chip might be so crazy that it works. Still in the top ranked running back in the league from our NFC East foe is so gratifying. And having Murray talk about winning us a Super Bowl just to shove it in Dallas's face makes me ooh so giddy. Now prior to this signing, I had thought all these moves that didn't make sense uh, were a part of Chip's plan to ultimately get Mariota. But now I'm rethinking everything. Do you think Bradford really is the guy in Chip Kelly's mind? I mean, don't get me wrong. I think if we have the opportunity to get Mariota, we go for him. But I don't think Chip, Gell Chip Kelly is going to go too far out of his way or risk too much to get him because I think the pieces he has right now, he knows he can work with. Also, the draft is not a guarantee we're gonna get the guy we want. So, in that case that we don't get Mariota, this signing of DeMarco Murray makes me feel a lot more comfortable about Sam Bradford being our guy. Well, one, one epiphany that I had this week was that you can't overthink Chip's moves. You just gotta let it ride and see where it takes us because initially it's not gonna make sense. If you look at it at face value, there is so much lying underneath and there is so much more behind this move that we we don't know about. And Chip's not gonna tell us what it is. He's just, He's gonna show us. And right now we are in a good place. We needed something big to feel good about the moves that just went down. We needed something huge to feel good about letting our star players that we were emotionally attached to go. And this was the move that we needed. So I am feeling good and it's an extra bonus that it happens to torture, torture our NFC East rivals. And those Cowboys fans were the worst at trolling us all week when we were down about losing all these players and now it just backfires in their face and I'm seeing them pull that 180 where they're backpedaling now they're trying to retract whatever statements now they're trying to say DeMarco Murray wasn't that good and you know what I'm gonna say it right here if you believe something you gotta stay consistent with it I'm not gonna lie all the times I've been repping my Eagles, I've always preferred LaShawn McCoy. But I'm in a scenario where I can't have LaShawn McCoy anymore. Therefore, I will gladly, gladly accept the next, the next best option. And think about it. DeMarco Murray, Ryan Matthews, and Darren Sproles. Let that soak in real quick. With these guys, we could potentially run the ball 60% of the time. And when you do that, 
you're going to be protecting your QB because he's going to be passing less and getting hit less. And when they do, my phone is blowing up right now. <laughs> I'll get to you, Twitter. I'll get to you. And when we do pass, we can run play action, which will relieve the pressure off of our QB, whoever happens to be starting. So since he'll be getting hit less, it's going to lower his chances of injury, which is very important when having a very injury prone quarterback like Sam Bradford. And let's not forget about the sports science people. Now, if there's a shake to cure an ACL injury, well, you know, Chip Kelly's got that recipe. <laughs> oh, D-Boys. Shout out to D-Boys. He be blowing me up on Twitter. Cowboys fan. Um, I see you there. I see you. You know, Cowboys fans have had a lot to say all week. Especially earlier this week. Now, starting yesterday, their tune has changed a little bit. But what I want to do is go through some of these comments and just see where they might be at now. When the McCoy trade went down, I mean, it's tough parting player with players you love. So I was obviously very distraught and sad and confused, but now it makes sense. And and Cowboys fans are now feeling the same experience of having to lose your star running back. But here's what they're doing with it. So obviously we all know a lot can change in the NFL within just a couple of days. And right now, I am liking what I'm seeing. I know things can change. There's talks of Adrian Peterson possibly going to Dallas. Now, if that happens, hey, that's a game changer right there too. But for now, I'm going to enjoy getting one up on these Cowboys. And let's, let's read a couple of comments. So we have Dallas Cowboys fan 95 referring to the McCoy Alonzo trade. And uh, he says, worst trade in the 2015 offseason. Every team that plays the Eagles goes in the game thinking, stop McCoy. Now who is your offensive threat? Foles? Frank Gore? Nope. It's your former running back, DeMarco Murray. Oh! <laughs> now we have Mark Brighton chiming in. Sweetie, you just signed up DeMarco Murray for the same money you could have keeping McCoy. How dumb is Chip Kelly? Now, see, people like to make these blanket statements like they know what's up, but let me clarify, because y'all need to see the full, the full picture. And Rob Torno on Twitter explained it very concisely. Chip Kelly basically traded LaShawn McCoy for DeMarco Murray and Kiko Alonso and saved one million in 2015. You calling that dumb? Finally, the homeboy, you already know, you already know. He just happens to represent one of the teams that I hate the most in the NFL. We got Batman 05655. Popcorn, I want to see what kind of run game you will have. So I got my popcorn ready. And are you still enjoying the show? Well, actually, Batman, if that's your real name. Um, you know, you did have one of the best comebacks this week on EDP's video, so I will credit you that. There is a lot that can change from now until the start of the season, and if you guys get Adrian Peterson, then that's a whole different story. But for now, I'm enjoying this moment, and I'm enjoying reading some of these past comments. Well, actually, there were some nice people in the mix. We have Des Des Bryant 11 who says, man, what happened to the Eagles offensive stars? I actually feel bad. Now, you know, that's a nice guy and I appreciate your pity in that moment of sadness for Eagles Nation. Um, so in return, I feel bad for stealing one of your players like that and having him being bitter, you know, but it's a business. That's just how this goes. And I am going to give a shout out to all the Cowboys fans that I've been interacting with over, you know, these past few years that I've been doing my videos, because I see y'all, I see y'all. We got, uh, obviously, Batman0655, I always forget the arrangement of numbers, but something like that. Um, he always be commenting, always making me laugh, appreciate it, but on game day, you're the enemy, you know that. Outside of game day, we're cool, we're cool. Um, 
We got Shango, who y'all saw in one of my videos. Really cool fan. Uh, just reps the wrong team again. <laughs> Jared and Cam from Dormtainment. Uh, we got D-Boy, who was tweeting me right now. And downtown, with all the X's around around your name. Yeah, I see you. I see you there. And, <laughs> and now, that's really it. And here's my statement, just to say, guys, things can change so quickly with the team. Y'all need to stop with these blanket, true or false statements like, this is smart, this is dumb, you're an idiot, whatever. Like, because all that's going to do is make you look like an idiot down the line when something changes and what you say is no longer relevant. So, um, enjoy your sloppy seconds, Eagle Nation. DeMarco isn't squat without our beastly O-line. So again, TX Wolf's blood. Cowboys fans be changing their tune. And all I got to say is when McCoy left, I said, we lost a great player. He is one of the very few players that has never let me down. He is very talented. He is worth keeping. I never put him down. You know why? Because I don't flip flop on my opinions like that. I keep it real. McCoy is gone. I would have liked to keep him. But we are in this situation now where I can't have him. So I will gladly take your guys' best option at running back right now. So, boom! That's it. You know, I just had to get this off my chest. And shout out, shout out to all my Eagles fam. EDP, E-Rock, Nitro, uh, Zomster, all you guys. It's been a rough and rocky road. Uh, Steven Puga, I'm not going to forget you. You know, uh, it's just been a rocky, not rocky, it's just been a very... <sighs> different experience so right now we are just kind of absorbing it all we finally get to smile about one moment um let's hope it continues to move in a positive direction i know there's gonna be plenty more surprises this season but this is where i'm at right now so i'm gonna cheers you all i am very excited about the future of my eagles i cannot wait to see these guys in action and i can't wait to see what happens during the draft there are still so many scenarios that can play out that I'm tired of trying to break it all down and think of them all or say this is going to happen or that's going to happen because at this point, nobody had guessed we're getting DeMarco Murray. So we're all wrong. You get it? There's things that we can't account for or anticipate, but Chip's got a plan, man, and I am down with it. It's your girl, Delio, PhiladeliaEagles.com, signing off. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles! All these tweets that are coming through while I'm trying to film. D-Boy62, shout out, one of my OG homies. He's a Cowboys fan, but he's been following me on YouTube since, since my first year, which is like 2011, 2012, when I was making videos. Um, he says... It's going to be weird playing against Spray Tan. I mean, DeMarco, LOL, hashtag Cowboys Nation. So, you know, you guys are turning your back so quickly on a player that you guys had defended and respected for so long. I don't get it, but do what you got to do to feel better. Um, DeMarco Murray says Sam Bradford had a huge influence. So see, that's the part of the puzzle piece that Chip Kelly knew that we didn't. So... Hey man, Tony Romo da God on Twitter says he doesn't have Romo no more. Romo, come on now. 